Hello, this is Ever Whiteside, and welcome to our series of smart briefs regarding the PIM practice. This particular brief will be uh, completed by Rehan, our technical architect, and he will be discussing intelligent linking. In this smart brief, we'll be reviewing the capabilities of our in river partner for the PIM practice. Intelligent linking basically provides the capabilities for you to be able to enrich data, enrich content, and at the same time automatically and seamlessly be able to have your products linked to categories for future publication. This is an important capability in order to reduce the manual effort and increase the workflow capabilities. Hello team. Today we are going to see how to configure intelligent linking rule using InRiver PIM. So open the InRiver PIM URL and sign in. Once you sign in, you will see the enrichment menu. So click on enrichment menu. Today we are going to apply enrichment uh, and uh, red intelligent linking rule on the categories. So I am searching for categories. So I am searching for category called power tool. And here you will see that <coughs> if you see in includes there is no product assigned to this category as of now. Now click on And configure link rule here you will see the five links the first link is a create rule which is used to create a new rule for this entity and the second one is create new query so you can create a new rule or you can create a new query or you can use existing query if it will satisfy your business requirement the fourth link is if you want to delete any rule or unlink query then click on this link and the last one is a save rules and link queries to that entity. So we will go with the first create rule. Click on create tool. Once you click on create tool, you will see a new rule is rule is created. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> click on field that you want to apply the new rule. So I select product line and the value equal to power tool because my category is power tool. So I want a product which is which product line equal to power tool and click on save query and you will see that the link rule is saved then close the browser once you close the browser you will see uh, that as of now there is no product is linked but you have to refresh and once you refresh this you will see the product is automatically assigned to this category so whatever the product that fulfill the rule it will automatically assign to this category so once you apply the linking rule you cannot uh, do any manual linking of the pro uh, of the with that entity so see he, if i try to do it see if i click on product and search and if i try to link any product which is not fulfillable linking it will give an error message that the self configure link rule is exists so you cannot do any manual linking uh, you can click here and if I delete this rule and click in close so you will see the advanced I delete result automatically delete all the product that is assigned using that link then I click on any product okay so it's already having some cache power tools I'm searching again here and click here and if I search for entity value equal to product search no. self configure release
Thank you very much. This will be one of our many smart briefs regarding PIM capabilities. If you need us, please contact us at proficient.com.